Choices are the major part of our lives, even though we do not examine them most often or we don't even pay attention to them. Choices are the greater part of our life. Your success, your everyday life relies solely on the choices that you make from whether you're waking up in the morning to deciding whether you're going to bed at night. Hi, welcome. My name is Judith Adams. If you're new here, if you're not, Thank you for coming back. I know, right? I appreciate you. I do. So much. Not even kidding. <laughs> so yes, choices are the major part of our well-being. So from we decide whether what we're eating to um, what we're wearing, the clothes we're going to put on in a day, how we want, even, even as major as how to set our moods, when we wake up or in, from, from the beginning of the day, it's a choice. Your choice to get up and go to work. Your choice to whether you want to be a mom or whether you want to be a parent or not. A choice you have to make when you're picking a spouse. The only choice we don't usually have or no one has ever had is deciding who their parents should be. Aside that, our everyday life, the outcomes that we have, our life events are solely on the choices that we make consciously or subconsciously. We make them. We do. And like I mentioned earlier, whether you're having a good day or not, that's also your choice, right? Whether you're going in at work and having a bad day with a colleague, or you're just going to ignore her knowing that she embodies negative energy you do not want. It's you. So I read somewhere that said that most rich people, they're rich because they make good decisions. They make good choices. Good choices. If they're not the ones making the good choice, their ancestors somewhere made a very great choice <laughs> for them. To be able to enjoy the wealth or whatever they're enjoying, they're reaping now. They're enjoying or reaping from now or benefiting from now. First of all, discipline. There's no way you would make the best choice without being disciplined. If you're not disciplined, I'm sure getting off the bed in the morning is very difficult. So even when you set an alarm, you have it you have it on your, your phone or your clock that says stop or snooze. So you either stop it or you snooze it. That means you have a choice to get up. If you're disciplined enough, you're going to stick to the plan. Know that you have to get out of bed, stay to, to stick to the plan, respect yourself enough and the people you have involved to get everything done. So the first thing you need when you're making to make a great choice is to stay disciplined. The other thing I want to make mention of is you need to set a goal. To be able to make a great choice, you have to set a goal. And the goal here is usually the fact that we all want to be successful, whatever we do. We all want to be, I don't know what success means to you, but we all want to be successful, whatever we do. Set a goal and then say no to anything that does not align to that goal. Have expectations and voice them out. To be able to, to make good choices, you have to have expectations. This thing I am doing, will it yield for me? Would it give me the outcome that I want? What do I expect from making this particular decision? I mean, you cannot drive to McDonald's every week to get junk and expect to be fit. It, it doesn't work that way. It, it No, it doesn't. I wouldn't lie to you. You, you know it doesn't. You, you know, you know, you know. Yeah, so always examine the expectations. To make great choices, you have to have 
expectations. Always look at the possibilities. There are so many ways of doing things. There are so many ways that we could handle things. So always look at the possibilities. Uh, this one that I'm doing here, what could I have done better? You know, um, should, I, should I do it this way? Should I do it the other way? Which one is going to be much easier for me? So think about the possibilities. There's so many ways of killing the cat, they say. So yes, think about the possibilities. Self-check. If you cannot criticize yourself, I do not know who is your biggest, who would be good enough for that job. Because if you hand that particular job to people, they would slaughter you. They would do unjust to you. Be your biggest critic. I know sometimes this is bad because we stop ourselves from doing greater good. But if you know how to differentiate wanting the best and good for yourself to just killing your dream, you can make great decision. Self-check. I've done this. I've done that. I've done that. What could I have done better? This decision that I make or this choice that I made, oh, that wasn't good for me. What could I have done better? I made a choice, got disappointed. What could I have done better? I made a choice, it worked for me. I'm gonna stick to it and always make those choices when it comes to that particular event. So you have to decide. You have to be able to self-check. You have to be able to tap yourself and go like, you shouldn't have done it that way. You should have done it the other way. And in this, I would suggest you have a journal where you write that things that work, things that didn't work when you were making certain decisions. And that will help you. Consultation is not a bad thing. You could pay for it. You could ask your best friend. I'm not saying you solely rely on what your best friend is giving you. You could wait after that. But I know professionally, if you're paying for someone to think for you, and major companies, there's big guys and, and ladies out there, pay for such things. Think for me, you know? Have that one person you can run to for an advice to be able to make a greater decision. This is it, this is it, this is that. What do you think I should do? Well, if you're making it in life, you should be paying that person because that's free consultation. But anyway, if you're not, your best friend is a free consultant. Your mom, your parents are free consultant. And they actually sometimes happen to have experiences that they have actually failed or something or, you know, um, benefited from something. So always consult. I'm not saying don't have decisions of, don't make choices of your own. Just consult weigh things and be able to pick something that works for you so make a choice today have a target and say no to anything that does not align to it and you will make the great greatest and best choices ever sometimes let me tell you a secret it's even your choice how people treat you so you can say no don't treat me this way I don't like that so yes <laughs> that's our little secret there thank you for tuning in this is your girl Judith Adams uh, it's a short video but it was worth it um, pick a thing or two stay blessed and I appreciate you huh. Thank you.